What we are going to show you in this video is the construction of a custom outdoor kitchen using the modular precast panels from Walt Tools. In this build, the installer will be using the scratch coat panels. This is a plain panel with angled grooves precasted into the face for easy installation of cultured stone and similar products. This customer chose a particular stone tile to be installed, thus these were the panels being used. There will be three distinct coordinating pieces in this kitchen. A grill island, an L-shaped bar with a raised top all the way around, and a fire feature. Prep work has begun on the layout of the kitchen. The placement of the panels has been marked on the patio along with the location of the rebar pieces that will be used to secure the panels in place. Holes are drilled in the concrete for the rebar and the rebar is being cut at about 11 inches so that when inserted there is no more than 10 inches sticking up from the concrete. The location of the rebar corresponds with the holes in the panels. They are at 2 inches centered from the end of the panels, 44 inches between the holes on the long panels, and 28 inches between the holes on the short panels. The panels are marked for the location of the appliances, cabinets, and other cutouts. Both the front and the back are carefully measured and marked. Cuts can be made using a diamond blade and a 10 inch saw. Cut carefully through the front face, then cut through the back side. Cuts can also be made with a larger 14 inch saw if you're comfortable using that type of a machine. Here they are mixing up a batch of Type S mortar. This will be used as a mortar bed for setting of the panels as they were put together. See that line? Corner. These lines. So what I'm doing is measuring 43 and a half to about 46. Getting notched on the bottom of the panel. Place a band of mortar as shown here along the marked line of the panels. Panels are then set in place. One end of the panel gets placed over a pin and the other end slides into the previous panel. That is why the rebar pins cannot extend above the tab of the panel.
Panels should be leveled as you go using shims to bring them where they need to be. Measure as you go, keeping them level. In many installations, you will allow the kitchen to follow the grade of the surface. This will prevent standing water on the counters, just as it does with the main surface. In this case, the customer wanted the grade completely removed. A short run of block was used to provide the lift on the low end, making it level. Since this is all going to be covered with clad stone, it's going to be completely hidden. Here, the base for the footrest is being installed. Again, the basic blocks are being used since this will be covered with the same stone tile that the rest of the project is. This footrest is going to be installed on both sides of the bar. Thin set is being applied for the installation of the stone tile that the customer has chosen. The stone tile has been cut and the first pieces are being installed. This is going to be the most time consuming part of this project. This long step is not necessary if you are using the standard precast stone panels shown in our other kitchen builds. What a difference, man. I mean, to, even the cleanup and everything, you know. I... The galvanized cross braces have been installed. They are screwed into the top of the panels or glued with construction cement, as you see here. They should be spaced 18 to 24 inches and flank the grill and any other top mounted appliances. The cement board and Z-forms have been installed. The slate inserts for the countertop edge profile are also in place. The final pieces of the Z-mesh reinforcement are being cut. For complete instructions on the installation of the Z-form system, be sure to watch our previous outdoor kitchen video. Notice the small blocks of foam on the far edge. Those are going to create the voids used for the installation of the decorative precast corbels along both outer sides of this counter. Make sure all your inserts have had formally supplied. We recommend Walt Tools Form Shield because it's water-based and it leaves no residue behind. Now it's time for mixing of the True Pack C for pouring the countertop. True Pack C is an ad pack that's combined with a 60 pound bag of concrete or sand topping mix that you get locally. Integral color is being used to create a dark gray color. When using integral color, be sure to measure each batch for consistency. The mix is generally one True Pack C to one bag of concrete and one gallon of water. It will have the consistency of the thick oatmeal when used with this type of concrete mix. This crew happens to be mixing in double batches. There's no problem in doing that, just know that you're going to be lifting about 150 pounds per batch when placing that size.
Start at one end, and you will work your way down. Screed as you go to help keep the top level and move the excess concrete down where you need it. Here, just use a margin trowel to agitate the concrete near the liner to remove trap air. You can also use an electric vibrating tool. Once the concrete's placed and screeded, a mag float is used to start smoothing out the surface. Since this is going to have a raised bar all along the front edge, we do not have to worry so much about the finish on the front 12 inches, since it will be covered completely by that bar. Now it's time to apply some texture. The customer wanted a light stone look. This was done by applying liquid release and then using the Walt Tools light stone texture sleeve. You can see the texture is not going to the front, again, since that will be covered. The next day, the edge foams are removed as well as the foam blocks in the front. The decorative corbels will be mortared into place. The filler stones between the corbels will also be done. This step is detailed more in previous outdoor kitchen videos. Once the pieces are set and the mortar allowed to cure several hours, the top bar is formed up just like the bottom and poured using the same edge inserts. The foot rest will also be poured at the same time using the same basic steps. And there you have it, a beautiful outdoor space unique to this customer. See how the corbels are almost seamlessly integrated into the wall. Whether you use the scratch coat panels shown here or the precast stone panels shown in other projects, you really have the ability to give someone a custom space suited to their needs. These panels allow you to save both time and money on these projects. Visit walttools.com for more information on the panels and all the other decorative products they offer.